Hi guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about getting started with Terraria and Python. So first we need to understand what Terraria does. Um, and to do that, we need to look at a common situation that you'll see in most enterprises today. You have someone who's writing code. They have some sort of CI CD pipeline, right? Or at least some sort of testing involved. And then after that, it goes to a Git repository where they create a release or they have a, a, a certain hash that they say is, is the one that they're going to use. And then after that, things get kind of gray and murky. So if this is just me working on it, then I've got a local computer where I'm running this. I'm making sure I'm maintaining all my environments correctly. And if I have a problem, I start troubleshooting my environments and, and try to figure things out. If this is trying to be worked with a team, then maybe I'll have a server and that server will run a certain set of scripts, but then I'll have to have another server, another VM or another container to be able to do another set of scripts because things just, you know, uh, can overrun each other and, and have problems. So that's where Torero comes in. Torero takes the code. It then puts it in its virtual in a specific virtual environment designed just for that code. Um, and then it creates a service around that. And that service is then something that can be given and distributed to other people. Um, it uses the same process that you would you would expect to do yourself manually, but all does it automatically and through a single uh, binary. So what happens now is you have the ability to scale to different teams. You have like the DevOps, Net DevOps. They might be writing the code and they have their own processes and do their own thing, but then they send it to a Git repo. Then you might have net engineering who might use those scripts to be able to um, not have to log into the command line to run a script to do a tool. Um, and now they can create the services and then they can create those services and hand them out to the other teams. You've got like operations or external teams or what about the security team? All those different teams need access to the devices through an organized and prescribed set of, of environments. So now we create these services that are specifically tailored to these different teams. Great way to be able to use and understand the scripts in a large scale environment. And also, we have all sorts of capabilities to be able to scale. We can scale horizontally, we can scale vertically. Um, and so you can now have thousands of scripts on thousands of different devices, all easily managed. But I kind of digress. Uh, we're kind of, this is a getting started, not, not, a, not a how to scale uh, video. So let's move on and let's go look at how that actually looks from the command line. All right, let's switch over to the command line and have some fun. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to show you what Torero is. Torero is a single binary image. Um, once run, it'll create a hidden folder on your home directory uh, where it uh, will store a config file or where you can put a config file. It'll store metadata um, and database information that it needs. Other than that, it's a single binary image. You can install it by moving it to a user local bin or something along those lines um, or run it from wherever you have, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Okay, let's look at the version. And when we do so, uh, the first time running it, we're gonna have to accept the end user license agreement. Uh, feel free to go read more on that on the website. Um, after that, we're going to create a repository. And what this does is it actually creates the link to the repository um, to an existing repository and get somewhere. So we've got a github.com slash Toro dev uh, example scripts. Um, we'll also add a few bits of meta metadata, including a name, a description, um, and a reference maybe. Um, after that, we're going to create the Python script. So what this does is it says in that repository, we're gonna to link to the repository we just created. We're going to say a specific file name that we want, Torero hello, and then we're gonna give it another description. So this creates the service. So we've got a repository. Now we've created a service from that repository. And now once we have that, all we need to do is run it. So the next step is going to be to run the Python script. And what it's going to do now is it's going to pull that uh, information, that script from the repository. Then it's going to uh, create a virtual environment based on any requirements file. And then it's going to run that, that script in that virtual environment. Now, the very first time it does that, it's going to take quite a while because it has to do all that information and all that downloading. Um, but if you run it a second time, all it has to do is check the hash, make sure nothing's changed. And if nothing's changed, then it can run the script again. And you can see it runs way quicker. So there's a hello Torero script with Python. You guys feel free to go online and do the exact same script. Those example scripts are available on GitHub. Uh, thank you. That's it.